is a funny one. When you're anointed, you don't even got to look for information. It just comes to you. Hallelujah. When you're anointed, you don't have to snoop. You don't got to go through phones. You don't got to ask questions. All you got to do is go to sleep at night and the God of Israel will come in your dreams and say, boom, shakalaka. There you have it. Sometimes I would rather not know who the phony people are. I would rather not know who the fake people are. I would just rather keep going along in la di da But when you are anointed, God will always expose truth around you. When you're anointed, many of your relationships are under duress. They're under strain because the enemy knows one thing. He knows that if he can't get you to switch up, then he'll get the people you love to switch up on you. Job's wife said, curse God and die. Lot turned on Abraham. Saul turned on David. He got, the enemy realized, well, I can't get them to switch. They're too committed to God. So what I'm going to do is get the people they love to switch up on them. David said, I would have been okay if it had been an enemy that done this. But the fact that it was a friend that I trusted that switched on me is a sign of my anointing. When you're anointed, people will make up lies about you because sometimes the truth is too hard to accept. It's too good to believe. They don't even need a reason to lie. They just do it. Lie like a rug. When you're anointed, sometimes you have to fight just to be normal. Because the anointing makes you stick out in any room you stand in. It will make people envious of you and you won't know why. Because when you come in, the anointing on you draws people to you. And now they're angry like, what's so special about him? What's so special about her that everybody likes them? And you sitting right here looking like a deer caught in headlights. Because you're like, I ain't did nothing. It's the anointing on your life. 